Good morning. Praise God for another new day. Welcome to the Word from the Valley series. Today, I brought you to the beautiful scenic beauty of Kashmir. Behind me is the river Lidhar. Lidhar river is flowing. Actually, this is called a Lidhar valley because the Lidhar river starts in the glaciers of Sonamag and uh, it moves towards Pahalgam joining the main river Jhelum which is a branch of Indus. So you can see the beautiful mountains around, snow peak mountains and the Lidhar river is flowing. It's so beautiful to stand here. I remember year after year coming over here and uh, walking. We used to make a lot of prayer walks around this Lidhar river. So it's so beautiful. When I look at this river, I am reminded of the words of Jesus. Let me read to you the words of Jesus from John 7 chapter 37 and 38 verses. If anyone is thirsty, he should come to me and drink. The one who believes in me, as the scripture has said, will have streams of living water flow from deep within. If anyone is thirsty, he should come to me and drink. And one who believes in me, as the scripture has said, he will have streams of living water flow from deep within. If anyone is thirsty, we know that uh, thirst is a very natural thing in the physical realm. You have to feel thirsty. Otherwise, if you don't have the thirst, in the physical body, you will get dehydrated because there is no desire to drink the fluids, water. And definitely you will run out of fluid and you get dehydrated. In the same way, the Lord has kept a spirit within us and there should be spiritual thirst in each one of us. Actually, Blaise Pascal, there is a great French scientist, has said, God has put a God-shaped vacuum in every heart which can be filled only by God Himself. It's so true. When you look at the world around, everybody is thirsty for something. Our soul is thirsting for something. And just uh, this week, we, our friends in Kashmir finished their 30 days fast. They have celebrated Ramzan. And we can see there is so much of thirst in their souls. They fast the whole day, as all of us know. And not only just uh, adults, the children, the pregnant women, you know, all of them are thirsty after God. And that's why 30 days of fast they take. They wake up in the midnight, 3 o'clock, and then have their food. And whole day they are, they are without food and water. So how much thirst is there in the souls? And if we look at our Hindu friends, they go to the temples barefoot, they give their hair, and they do all sorts of things. Because there is a thirst in every heart which has to be filled. And here Jesus was standing in the temple, and he knows that every human heart has got thirst. And he is saying, come to me, come to me and drink of me and believe in me. Your thirst will be fulfilled. Yes, when I was 17 years old, through the fellowship, I came to this fountain of water. It was so beautiful. Jesus touched my life when I was a teenager and all these 50 years I can testify that I have been tasting this living water which is ever flowing and springs of living water is flowing out of a wretched life. Praise God. This is, this is the experience of every true believer 
who have thirsted and come to this living water because only Jesus can satisfy our thirst and fulfill the deepest desires of a heart and we see in the lives of people who fulfill this promise there's living waters will flow out of them and in the same context in the old testament what jesus spoke in in uh, in his life uh, when he was on this earth it was spoken in isaiah 55:1 he says come unto me who are thirsty why are you searching here and there this this uh, you can get this free you don't have to pay for it yes that is what jesus has done we didn't have to pay for our salvation but jesus has died on the cross for us and given his life so that we can become a living water we can become a source of life for others the life comes inside of us and also we'll give life to others so this is the secret of walking with jesus jesus said come whoever is thirsty come unto me i will give you living waters dear friend i want to remind you this morning are you thirsty are you longing for god jesus says come i will give you living waters if you take this water you will never be thirsty again jesus doesn't give us a cup of water when somebody is thirsty we give it the cup of water but jesus doesn't give a cup of water when we receive jesus into our hearts and continually have fellowship with him there's a spring coming out that's how this water flows the river river flows only in winter it freezes because you know everything freezes in kashmir valley because of snow but rest of the time it will be flowing 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 it is a continuous flow of water that is how the lord makes our life a fruitful river with full of life god bless you and may we thirst for god so that we become a river of living water shall we pray father we thank you lord for these beautiful words which you have spoken lord how beautiful it is to thirst after you and come to you you make us a living water flowing water thank you lord thank you help us to thirst after you lord and sati because you are the only one who satisfies our thirst bless all of us lord and keep us and protect us in jesus name we pray amen